Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Void Fox, and this is Freaking Meatbags. A single player, human harvesting, DNA splicing, robot killing, RTS tower defense game by Wild Factor. So we're just going to jump right into it. This game definitely intrigues me. It's art style, pretty cool. I like the whole uh, retro look to it. The whole pixel graphics that we're seeing very commonly now. But we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. I'm going to see what this game's all about. So we've got email. <laughs> Even little dial-up uh, sound. Okay. Boss bot. <laughs> You're 0 .03 seconds late for work. <laughs> so, in case you guys don't know, we actually play as a robot. a Like a cleaner robot. And our objective is to go on these planets and gather resources. Uh, before they explode or die or something of the sort. We'll find out. You're stuck with the Comic Coast Sector, a lovely slice of space where the planets are about to crash into the sun. So there you go. So the planets are about to crash into the sun. We gotta go and collect some stuff. Pick up all the rocks and eat the plant surface. They're valuable and we can sell them. Okay. And there's some squishy creatures that live on the planet. Make sure they're safe. My wife thinks they're cute. <laughs> now stop checking your email, I'll get to work. Ugh, boss bot's mean. Okay, so it looks like it's going to jump us into some type of tutorial. The planet map is your interface. Got it. WSAD on the air or the arrow keys. I must be able to, uh, to zoom. Okay. Uh, now it's time to clean your first planet. Yay! Select the planet in the outermost ring and click land. So we select it. Uh, we land. And see what happens. Ha! See what I mean? Like, look at the artwork. I love it. Look at these, look at these freaking meat bags. Jumping around, being all cool and... Is his name Lulz? No, it's Luz. Luz? Luz? Luzzy! So there's our robot. Oh, hello. Loading protocols to communicate with fleshy life forms. <laughs> you gotta love the humor in this game. You're shiny. I like that. <laughs> Loading plugins to allow interaction with dim-witted creatures. Beep. How are you doing? Shiny metal box with lights. <laughs> okay, wild robots are about to attack. Help me work and I'll try to keep you from dying a horrible death. Uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> oh. Damn! Oops. Alright. Uh, you there, Meepeg. Do what I say or you'll get squished. Seems fair. <laughs> I love it. Give the order to harvest minerals. Left click a human. Right click a mineral deposit. Okay, is there any one of those? So we'll click you. Uh, any one of these mineral deposits, I suppose, would work. There you go. So he's got a little dig icon. Away he goes. Nice. Stockpile at least 270 of uh, these things. Oh, accelerate time. Got it. Okay, you can click and drag. Oh, I see. WSAD moves your robot, and that's pretty much how you scroll at the same time. Uh, so why don't we just tell everyone to kind of do the thing. You can guys can collect that stuff. And you two can collect this stuff. Oh, she was slacking off. Get back to work! <laughs> so they could slack off. So our harvest 270 metal and 50... Was that? Botanocyte. This must be botanocyte. How do I tell? Does it say? It does not say. Oh yeah, right here. Botanus uh used to build structures. Doesn't give you the the label of what they are, I'm assuming. Oh, okay, we did it. Use oh here we go. Use a construction panel to build a DNA fusion building. Okay, DNA fusion helps expand the human population. Simply add two humans and press the button. So this is the DNA splicing slash combining. Uh, we'll find out what this does. Let's go ahead and just build that. RTS fashion. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Order two humans to enter the DNA fusion building, then start to the mixed DNA. Let's just get this thing going. Uh, you two, once you drop off your lovely stuff, send you into here, send you into here. Let's see what happens. Oh, in they go. That's one. That's two. Uh, I did it. Then start to mix DNA. Do I have to click it? Ah, okay. Recycle. Nope. 
Uh, let's just move up here. DNA fusion. I think that's it. Okay, they're fusing DNA. It's kind of funny, actually. These guys still clicking. No one's slacking off. Okay, okay, I'll go back to work. Okay, you just gotta <laughs> just sort of be around them to catch them from not working. That's hilarious. All right. Well done. First DNA fusion. Shane Randolph was born. DNA fusion. Human plus alien. We'll give you uh, abilities from both. Human plus human. We'll take the common abilities and transfer uh, transferred from two humans. Okay, so whatever their common ability is, we'll transfer it to a new human. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, let me zoom out here. Well done. All objectives have been completed. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, auto take off in... Okay, so we're just going to... Oh, we're out of here. Unlocked. Machine gun tower. So there's the... Uh, looks like the tower defense side of things. Good basic defense system. Inexpensive, but still expe uh, effective. Basic wall. Stops weak attacks, but that's about it. Roger. And we got our planet cleared, and it looks like we got a bunch of stuff. Hmm. Okay. Find out what new perfect score. Robot not damaged. Hell yeah! Uh, recruit planet settlers. Need at least two crew members. So it looks like we can take... Look at this guy's hat! Yeah, let's just take them all. Can we take them all? We have room for them all. Plus Randolph that we take off. Here we go. Okay, kind of cool. Um, I guess that was the tutorial. So now we go to the... That was 100%. We go to the next most outer planet. And we land. Let's do that. Oh! Survive three waves to clear the planet of hostile activity. So looks like we got a lot of metal and that botanocyte or whatever it's called down there. A weird looking ship thing has landed. Uh, okay, unlocked, unlocked, click for more info. Right, so we've we've already seen this stuff. Bullbot. Bullbot is simple but strong robot, moderately aggressive like an encyclopedia salesman. <laughs> So I have all waves. Okay, so let's get our, these guys working. Oh, look at that! So we got a tower, a pre uh, tower pre-built. We'll get you guys to collect this stuff. You help with the with the green stuff. Oh, detecting a surge of wild robots on the planet's surface. Be careful, or whatever. <laughs> oh boy, set up some defenses before the night falls. Otherwise, they'll surely melt you with their lasers. Not that I really care. Okay, I'm building. I'm building. All right, so we'll send that person there. I believe we got everyone working so let's check this out construct okay these are your categories construct a machine gun tower looks like there is energy that you have to watch so we're using 100 of 600 energy uh, let's put you up here I suppose you're not sort of can't build them anywhere else just on the blue put you here okay maybe we'll, maybe we'll make maybe we'll make one more Right here in the center. Oh, we need more resources. Fix the breach by the uh, by constructing new walls. There we go. Nice. Nice. You guys are getting smoked. I love the artwork. It's just it's so nice. They got a really cool uh cool pixel artwork going on here. So that's wave one. That wasn't a not too tough of a wave. Uh, so what do we need to build this? 200 metal. Is everyone working? No one's slacking off? Uh, what I think I'm going to do is get more people to go on the metal, and we'll have that one person on this green, goopy stuff. We'll need other types to make more advanced structures, right? So do we need to start fusing things I'm not entirely sure if we have to now do these guys have like special oh, okay willingness to work uh, resource mining hey get back to work hunter you slacker all of you I ain't messing around <laughs> okay we got bad guys incoming very good oh time times three Speeds it up just a little bit. 
Looks like we have enough for a third mini uh, tower. Let's put you right here. Well, I can go through the wall. Oh, damn. Yeah, let's just turn that down and watch the mayhem unfold. Okay, looks we're collecting things. So this is cores. Is it where they die? Oh yeah, they drop these little computer cores where they die. So I should be going around collecting these things. That's wave two. Okay, we're doing okay. So it looks like you can actually build a maze if you wanted to. Like if you wanted to. Oh, I see. Only on the blue. You can only build on the blue. Fair enough. Get back to work! Frickin' meat bags! Uh, okay, so it looks like they each have individual stats. Uh, you can walking speed, willingness to work, and explore. You can't. Well, you only do it when you hover over, so I'm not entirely sure uh, what that does. But I'm sure we'll learn it as we play. Uh, let's just speed this up, shall we? Okay, we got a wave coming. I think we're okay. Maybe we'll build one more tower here. Let's build one more tower right here. There. Speed this up, see what this looks like. It's only the one coming. Oh, I think I hear him. Let's go out there and look. I'm curious. Speed it up. Oh, oh, big boys. Ah! Will they attack me? Oh yeah, I got a health bar too. Okay, so these guys bulldoze over that stuff. The walls, it looks like. They attack the walls and they're starting to get through a bit. I like these little spinny towers are cool. They should be able to take them out before they can fully break through. There we go. Some cores there. Nice. Collect all the cores. And that is wave three, and I believe that is all. Auto take off. Yep, so we've cleared the planet. Look at all these guys slacking. Shane. Planet cleared. So we got some cores. I'm not sure what those are used for. Maybe there's a like an in-game kind of shop that you use these for, maybe upgrades. Maybe we'll find out in the next uh, next planet here. Let's take off. We've got mail. Oh, from Mom. <laughs> Hi, Chip. Are you enjoying your new assignment? Uh, keeping those little animals nice and warm. I heard about your wild robot troubles. I'll write their mothers to let them know they're misbehaving. I'm sure that will set them straight. All right, keep that sweater I made you when the sun goes down, okay? In addition to keeping you warm, it will also protect against laser fire. Oh, that's a nice sweater. Oh, wait, I forgot to send it, didn't I? Well, I'm sure you'll be fine. Lasers don't hurt that much unless they hit you in the face. <laughs> oh, Mom. Transmission from a Drazion merchant. Fresh new items for sale, all natural, organic, and mostly harmless. Come aboard and take a look. All right, so let's see what this is all about. Uh, the tech you need to get your job done. Remember, a cleared planet is a planet that doesn't get you fired from your job. That's true. Uh, okay, so that's what this resource is for. It looks like you can buy... Uh, new towers, unlock machine gun tower, advanced, you can unlock the laser tower. Of course you need a lot more for that, not in early access, but coming soon. Right, I forgot to mention this game is currently in early access at the time of this recording. Uh, brain slug. I don't know what that is, there's nothing... Oh, we can buy daily deal, huh, look at that! Unlock mine, a resource extractor that helps supply materials to your base, gathering speed 200%. Oh, yeah, let's buy that. Sold. Alright, so we bought a mine, so a new structure, it seems. Let's see what this brain slug thing's all about. About. <laughs> okay, a fresh brain slug guaranteed to fight human laziness by 200%. Only 300? 300, 300 of those crystal thingies. Drag it on a crew member and I'll, and I'll implant it free of charge. Okay, so... Interesting. Hunter Booth doesn't think he's a shy person, per se. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, willingness to work. So I wonder if... Let's just buy one and see what happens. So Hunter was slacking off at one point. Let's <laughs> let's put a brain slug on him. So he's been brain slugamide, and his level's been maxed. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's put it on that guy. It was Randolph. Whatever happened to Randolph? Did I? Not? There he is. Let's put it on him. Look, <laughs> that's so funny. Um. Okay, let's just see how that affects them compared to the people who do not have brain slugs. It might mean I have to uh, harass them less. So we'll leave the shop. That's interesting. 
And now we're on to the next uh, planet, which of course is here. It looks like it automatically takes you to the next planet. Let's land. I'm liking it. I'm liking the game. It's interesting. Uh, kind of easy right now, uh, but I'm assuming it's because it's early levels. Look how horribly infested this planet is. I don't have any arms and therefore can never experience the joy of giving a high five. <laughs> but I'd still never trade places with you. This has kind of got like a portal-esque kind of humor sprinkled on it, doesn't it? Uh, that's comforting. Uh, visibility near zero. Temperatures are high. Humidity 100%. There's not a single place to teleport a base. Oh boy. Hopefully we are able to get a few drones down safely. They'll keep you warm at night. <laughs> I'm not really that kind of robot. All right, so grab the drone. It's a machine gun drone. Okay, so it looks like we actually just have to discover. Take a shot by clicking the middle mouse button or pressing control key. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Right on. Look at this. This is different. Kind of cool that you can do this. Now it's more of an active. Oh, we got two drones now. It's kind of an active tower defense. Tower offense. Woo! <laughs> That's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Middle mouse button, though, I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> Might need to rebind that. Oh, control works. I'll use control and try that out. Got my army of drones. Okay, this is very neat. I'm enjoying uh, how they're changing up the pace here. The distance on these uh, on this firing is pretty good. And there's a whole bunch down here, if I remember correctly. Woo! Here we go. Grabbing those cores, baby. No problem. I like the lighting effects. Kind of, uh, kind of cool. This I like when they add lighting to these retro games. Like the subtle lighting, you know what I mean? With shadows and stuff. It, I don't know, it's... It's cool. It's like modern mixed with retro. Whoa. All good. Well done. All objectives have been completed. Okay, cool. So that was just like a clear the planet uh, by yourself kind of objective. Pretty neat. I'll let you keep five more meat bags. Apparently more of them is a good thing. So we got the barracks. Unlocked! Road booster. Let's humans move a little faster around the planet. They're still lazy, but it helps. <laughs> planet cleared. So we got some CPU chips and, and a bunch of these crystals. Which is the currency, obviously. From Chip! There he is. To Sally. Hey Sally, do you miss me? Because I miss you. I just had to send you a message to tell you about these planets I'm visiting. I found crowds of little mammals called humans. They're kind of smelly and they squirt liquid from holes in their body. Which is gross. But it turns out they can be trained. <laughs> I'm convinced a few of them help gather resources, of course. By help, I mean they do all the gathering. I'm busy making sure they don't get zapped by wild robots. So their job is definitely easier than mine. There's just one problem with humans, they're lazy. Sometimes they refuse to do any work. Since they're bio biological, I figured I can augment them to encourage pro <laughs> productivity. It's good stuff. Alright, an alien parasite, a brain slug, they're pretty standard stuff. As long as they're at least 51% human when I bring them back. Boss bot won't fire me. <laughs> anyway, time to get to work. Uh, the better half of my dual core... <laughs> what? Wait, you're the better half of my dual core love CPU, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Send the email. Click upgrade to improve things. Oh, cool. All right. All right. Look at this. So this is what the CPUs are for. For uh, four four uh, for upgrading hardware. Okay. I'm I'm really digging this. There's some cool depth to this game. It's, it looked a little, you know, it's a little simple. The upper layer, but as we go down under its dual core layers, uh, we find some cool things going on. So robot speed. It gives your robot a little. A little speed boost. Uh, what's this? Robot durability. Human crew capacity. Add an additional crew member slot. That's probably to your ship so you can bring more with you. Building efficiency reduces time, recycling, and main base durability. Okay. So let's, let's go ahead and just upgrade the crew capacity. Let's do that. Good. So we don't have any more CPU cores to spend. We're going to land on the next planet.